OK, let's uh, turn now to a film festival in its 30th year, celebrating the best of LGBT cinema. Tonight, a new British drama looking at the pressure of being gay in the world of Premier League football opens the 11-day event. Amelia Papadopoulos is in Leicester Square with the star of that uh, drama. Amelia. Yes, Riz, that's right. This man, Russell Tovey. Now, your film is the star of this evening. Big night for you. Big night, yeah. Odeon Leicester Square, big crowds coming in, friends and family here. It's very exciting. Lovely. Well, we will talk uh, more to Russell and also to Claire Stewart, who's the event organiser, in just a few moments. But first, let's take a quick look at the film. It's called The Pass. I'm having a beer. Cracking up, is it? Look, let's not pretend that we don't know what's going on. They can't keep us both on, not with this new formation. Yeah, I know that, Ade. I, I am not thick. There is a window, I can see it closing. If I'm in a better position tomorrow, and I'm on, will you pass me the ball? Well, Russell, quite an intense scene uh, that we just saw um, there. Now, you played the same role in the stage version uh, of the film, and you described it as a sporty Hamlet. Could you tell us a little bit about it? It was a sporty Hamlet. It was, it was a... It's a tragedy. It was, it's a tragedy of this guy's life. Yeah, we did it at the Royal Court Theatre upstairs, a small space. We performed it for seven weeks, 150 people a night. Then the show finished, and then we now had the opportunity to make it into a movie, and we're here with Claire at the Flair BFI LGBT Film Festival, and it's, it's a brilliant, exciting night. Looking at the subject of the film, being gay in football is still very much uh, a taboo, and this is one of the first films of its kind that really explores that in depth. Yeah, it feels it's definitely untapped in art, and it definitely does feel like the last taboo. And this is a, about a guy who chooses his profession and trying to fulfil his potential over personal emotions, over human connection, over anything that's kind of what we're human, what we live for, and how that kind of affects someone. And it's, it seems like that's the scary world that's going on right now where people are still scared to come out, and it is. Premiership football is, it seems to be like the kind of the hot topic that no one is making that choice to do that. Well, good luck uh, with the opening tonight. Let's speak now to Claire Stewart, the event organiser here at the BFI. Uh, Claire, 30 years of this event now, and you know, how, how uh, important is it that the opening night is, is happening here in the West End? Well, I think 30 years is practically, um, you, you know, uh, ancient for an LGBT event of any kind. And this is a festival that started out as a week of gay films 30 years ago and very rapidly expanded to include gay and lesbian filmmaking and films. And a couple of years ago, we felt, well, even that's not broad enough now to describe the kinds of identities and sexualities of the films and filmmakers that we have in this festival. Uh, so now BFI Flair is a uh, you know, much bigger, more inclusive uh, name for the festival. Lovely. Claire, thank you very much for your time and good luck with the opening night. Now, last year, 23,000 people attended the event. It's becoming more and more popular. It starts today and ends on the 27th of March. OK, Amelia, thanks very much indeed from Leicester Square.